What's up everybody, welcome back to Bond's Box, I'm Bond and today we're going to be looking at how to stop the coup d'etat in Greedfall. Um, so this comes a fair way into the game I'd say, here I can show you guys my quest progress up to this point. Um, I haven't finished the game yet so I can't really tell you how far but I mean I've done all of these story quests. Um, I've obviously done a whole bunch of side quests, probably why it took me so long to get to this point is because I've been doing all the side quests along the way. Um, but yeah, a couple of things to note, if you're not ready to go into this quest just yet, um, I'd recommend, uh, not completing this step, the last step complete on this list in form, Admiral Cabral about the situation, that will stop it from initiating, uh, once you complete that, er anytime you go up to Constantine's door, it will trigger the cutscene that will, um, progress the story and unlock the coup d'etat and unfold all of the uh, all of those actions um, and the reason you might want to know that is because before you start this quest uh, this thing up to be able to stop it um, you need to have Kurt as a friendly relationship level as far as I could tell there was no way to do it without having him at a friendly level um, and if you are at a nice or a suspicious level he will he will turn against you and he will die. Um, well, or you'll fail and get game over, I guess, if he kills you first. Um, but canonically, he'll die. Um, and, and yeah, so if he's nice or suspicious, then you want to go ahead and finish up his uh, his like companion quest or anything. Make sure you keep speaking to him and all that kind of thing. Make sure you build up that relationship to be friendly. If he's not friendly and he ends up dying, then this mission will play out completely differently. You'll end up having to save one of the two main cities, Hikmet or St. Mateus. Um, the people in the one that you don't save will end up failing some missions and um, moving to New Serene. Whole other branch into the story if you go that way. Uh, this way I'm just going to show you how to stop the coup d'etat altogether, which I'm, I think, at least in my opinion, is the best possible ending. Everybody stay safe, you stop the madness. Uh, and so on. So I will quit rambling on about that and get into it. So like I said, I have Kurt at a friendly. Um, there's a couple other things to note, but I'll make a note of that when I get to it because they're not hugely important until you get to that point. And you can easily go and sort yourself out if you don't have what you need. Um, so yeah, we're going to go to this door. I'm going to skip the cutscene. Because as soon as you hit open, you couldn't pick a better time. you'll get this cutscene. I'm going to skip it. Um, there's no choices or anything to be made here. So this is where the coup d'etat starts. Like, that mission is complete. We've started up this one. Kurt comes. Obviously, if he's not nice, if he's not friendly, this is where he'll turn on you. Um, but he'll actually betray his guard to help you now. As long as he is friendly, which he is in my case. Oops. So yeah, um, for your companion, you can basically pick anybody here um, except Siora. Um, I suppose you could pick her, but I think for the best possible outcome of this, you'll stop the coup d'etat either way, even if you pick her, but I'm going to go ahead and say that there's a better way to stop the coup d'etat, so to speak. I think there's two endings that both involve stopping the coup d'etat, is what I'm trying to say. Um... So we're going to go for the best possible version of that. So I'm going to pick Kurt and Vasco. I've done it with Afra in the past. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do it with Vasco this time. Just because I like him. So we need to get Constantine and the advisors safe. So we're going to start off by going upstairs to get... Um, I can't remember his name. Like the... The dude. Your mentor or whatever from upstairs. Um, one thing to note, once we start fighting the guards, which will happen after we get this guy, uh, make sure you keep looting their bodies and grabbing any armor. Um, later on we're going to want to have um, a set of armor for each person, so whether that's a studded caress or a brown brigadine or anything like that. So we're going to want that. Um, so we'll be making sure we hold on to those. Sorry, right. once we leave here, we're going to get attacked. Oh, 
Go ahead and... Oh. I'm not doing very well in this combat. Wow. Yeah, so fun fact, side note, I have 252 shots with my rifle. Uh, that's because I was crafting some. I didn't realize when you craft one, it actually crafts five. Um, so yeah, I've ended up with a lot of ammo uh, at this point in my game. Um, so I kind of just skipped through that out of habit. But uh, we should have got at least something. Check it real quick. Doesn't seem to be any kind of time limit. The music kind of, yeah, here you go. Odd Study Caress and Old Brown Brigade. And these are the two you want, really. Um, for disguises, I mean, if you already have some, you don't need to keep them, but assuming you haven't and you sold them because they're not exactly that great, then uh, you'll get plenty of chances to get some now. Boots, hat, as, as far as the skies in this game go, um, it does not matter about your hat, your cloak, and anything. It's just the chest piece um, that you need to worry about. I'm going to go ahead and loot everybody because who doesn't love gold and trinkets and stuff that you can sell later on? So there's uh, one more advisor we need to go rescue. Um, we'll be grabbing him. We need Basically, we're grabbing the two advisors and we're going down to the basement to put them in a safe room fighting anybody that tries to stop us along the way. I'd use another bomb here, but I'm not sure if you can, like, kill your own teammates with it, like the people you're escorting, so I'm just going to avoid it. Again, looting... Everybody, just because, I don't know, I like looting stuff. <laughs> um, so the next guy is, if you did the quest earlier on where you were getting the merchant his um, his permit to trade in whichever city it was, I think it was Hikmet? No, it was this city, wasn't it? Yeah, but anyway, this is this guy. Can't get him, we're going to get attacked again when we go out here, I'm going to be... That's great. We'll try a bomb. Seemed to work out. I don't see anybody dead. We've still got both advisors. Yep, and Constantine. So we're good. Okay, so we're going to go down the basement. Um, I'm sure you've probably been down the basement before, but it is off this door here. And down the stairs. There again is some more Coin guard recruits down here waiting to fight us, so we'll dispatch them. I said I don't think it's possible for them to die, but I mean I'm I'm only playing on the normal difficulty, so maybe on extreme it's possible to let them die. I'm not sure, so make sure you try and kill these guys as quickly as possible. Alright, that should be the last of the guys if I remember rightly. Yeah, so you're going to go in here. This is where you're going to leave your escorts, your, well, your VIPs. Go ahead and skip through that. There's no speech options. Uh, I've leveled up. I won't mess around with that right now. Um, you will be safe here. So next up, we need to go and warn the other uh, the other cities because this is a uh, island-wide coup d'état. Um, so they're trying to take over all three major um, cities. So we need to get word out to the leaders of those cities. Um, again, if Kurt's dead, he you don't get this step. So that's why he needs to be alive. Um, but first up, we're gonna. Warn Madame Morange. Morange, I can't remember how to pronounce it. Morange, there we go. 
Let's skip through this. There's no no speech options with that one, so I'll skip through it. More dudes to kill. I need to stop trying to just mash my way through this combat. I was trying to make it go fast and uh, I've been getting hit more than I should. Um, so there is. Ooh, that's some nice armor. Um, but yeah, anyway. Another reason to loot people. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and you could probably for this guy, um, if you don't want to spend any gold unnecessarily, I'd go ahead and make a save right here. Um, because there will be a speech option with him that will have a, depending on your charisma, it will depend on the success rate. Um, oh, we're going to have enemies to fight first. Okay. Man, I love that bomb ability. So good when they're clustered up like that. If you're curious where that is, that is at the end of the, like, the technical tree. Technique tree. What's that tree called? That green one. Come on board, it's called. But yeah, it's down there. So it takes a little bit to get to it, but man, it's a lot of fun when you get like a pack of wolves or something. You can weaken them all in one go, upgrade it so it poisons them. Um, so yeah, here's that guy. So I mean, I guess you could make the save now. Would probably make more sense. He killed those guys. Messenger, be ready to you must form the governor of so we need to get him to go to Hikmet to inform them. But he's too scared. Who said that? Because he's being threatened, so you can either pay him 100 gold, or you can use charisma to attempt to convince him. Hopefully we get this. So, that failed. So, just to prove that it works, we're going to go ahead and load up this one. Um, and we should get it this time. I mean, it's 50-50, it's a coin flip every time, so you could be here forever reloading, theoretically. Um... Pretty much with like with all the other choices in this game, as long as you make a save or have a save not too far before it, you can get away with. I wonder if I can not interact with those just yet. No, God damn it. I should have overwritten that save. That's what I should have done. Ooh. We'll loot those guys in a second. We're going to make the save. Right, this is where you want to make it, really. Completely forgot about that group of dudes right there. So, we'll speak to him again. We'll try the charisma. There you go. Successful use. So, he'll go off and warn the other one without too much effort. Um, like I said, I mean, you can just bribe him if you want, if you have the spare 100 gold. I'm pretty stingy, so I like to try and use my words as much as possible. Save my armor for crafting stuff, or uh, my money for crafting stuff and buying weapons and that kind of thing. So we're going to have another set of enemies to fight right here. my blade oh I've gone too far god damn it I hate it when that happens you end up going too far it like restarts the encounter and they get all the health back probably one of the weirdest quirks of this game whoa Uh oh, let's not die in the video, come on. Buckling under pressure. Come on, come at me, come at me. It's 
So Vasco went down. Alright. Grab all this loot. Ooh, and more purple armor. I didn't get this on my other time through. Might actually, this is my real playthrough. At least I don't think I did. Okay, so, man, more purple. Maybe I just wasn't looking hard enough. Now is not the time. Not sure what she said that for. But anyway, yeah, here's the next merchant or a messenger we need to get. He needs to go to San Mateus. Um, he'll just go without any kind of fuss, he'll just leave. We haven't got to worry about any speech options or anything with him. So there's a few different ways in which you can go about this, but um, assuming you want to try and do it without killing people that are just simply following orders and that kind of thing, this is where you want the outfits. Um, and I'm assuming you want to actually get to stop the guy behind it. Um, if you go into combat and all that kind of thing in here, you'll end up taking too long in the story and he will get away you'll still stop the coup d'etat but he will get away so this is where you're going to want your old studded cuirass on everybody or your old brown brigadine um, and we're going to want to go around the back but now i'm carrying too much weight so that's awesome uh how much whoa i'm way over shouldn't have looted everything um yeah. Ah, there's not a chest nearby either. This is frustrating. Um, quickly do some inventory management, I guess. It's gonna be the chess pieces, isn't it? Drop that. Drop that. That's the one I use. We definitely want to drop that. What is weighing me down? Oh, I got a whole bunch of gloves I could drop. All right, it should be good enough now. Just um, see up here, the, up the back of the. Uh, off the barracks. Go through this door. So this is where, um, if you had Siora or you weren't wearing the outfits, you'll end up getting into a fight with these guys, and it'll give the um, the guy too much time to escape. But being disguised and having Kurt with you will let you get on through. So we need to. So here's the other. Um, quest step so you have arrest the coins lieutenants or reach the office you're going to want to reach the office um you pretty much have a choice right here if you arrest the lieutenants the head guy will get away um so if you ignore the lieutenants and just go after him he you'll be able to stop him if i can remember exactly where his stuff is say so here so yeah here it is Get some coins out of this pile if you want, and then there's a chest here. If you've got the correct lock picking, I'm not going to take any of it. I'll take the coins. I haven't got the weight to be. Uh... So, like I said, if you stop the lieutenants, you won't be able to catch up with them. Unfortunately, as far at least from the, I've run this mission three or four times now, and each time. He's gotten away. I haven't figured out a way. So if you know a way, make sure to let me know in the comments. Um, but yeah, once you leave, you'll get this cutscene. The guard, we're moving out. Break camp. We are no longer welcome. We'll skip the sequence and whoa, right into a fight. With what's his name? I keep forgetting his name. Torsten. That's the big bad guy. We get. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna let this play because I like this cutscene. Another reason why doing it this way is better, in my opinion. Get a pretty sweet cutscene of you beating him. Although my camera went all weird. 
so it wasn't as cool. And that is the treason mission. That's done. Complete. You stop the coup d'etat, your achievement would pop right around here. Um, if you decided to go after the lieutenants, you would... Um, you chase, you come out and there wouldn't be that cutscene, you wouldn't fight in there. You'd end up getting a marker to go down to the docks. Um, and he would, you'd just see a ship sailing off and he would say, oh, your character would be like, oh no, um, we missed him basically. Mm -hmm. You still stop the coup d'etat, I'm not sure what other kind of implications it has if he gets away. Uh, I wanted to make sure he didn't, because obviously he's the mastermind behind the whole thing. Um... But yeah, well, either once you get to that cutscene where you see him sailing off, or that cutscene where you defeat him, you will get the achievement for Missed Coup, for preventing the coin guard from attempting a coup, which is a bit, a little bit misleading. They attempted it, <laughs> we didn't prevent them from attempting it, we, we prevented it from happening. Um, so, here's the next cutscene. And yeah, so let me know in the comments if you've been playing this game, if you've been enjoying it. I personally have been really enjoying it. I think it's a lot of fun. I really like the, the kind of political um, alliances and stuff that you're trying to form and keeping everybody happy and not pissing everybody off, basically. Um, but yeah, and hopefully this guide helped you with the uh, stopping the coup d'etat. Uh, if you wanted to go about it either other way, where you wanted to let one of the cities fall, you cannot have Kurt be alive, as far as I can tell. Um, he needs to die, so therefore you need him to have a suspicious or a nice friendship relationship status when you get to this point, or you know the point at the mission starts. Um, and then you'll fight him, and then you can go about finish that mission however you wanted to. Um, I guess if you wanted to try and see everything on one playthrough, you do that first, reload it, do it save the other city, reload it, and then get his friendship status up, finish his quest, that kind of thing, and then do what you just saw. Um, but yeah, I'd say this is the best possible ending uh, for this mission anyway, and hopefully you guys were able to do it pretty easily. Um, leave me that thumbs up if it did, if it helped. I mean, leave me that subscribe button if you want to see more content. If you want to know when that content goes live, make sure to hit that bell. And... I'll let you guys get on with playing the game. See you all next time.